Uh, Sway, what do we know at this point about the Burmese military's intention to, to release Aung San Suu Kyi? This morning when the news came out that uh, she is going to be released and the release order has been issued, people started gathering around her house. And then suddenly, gradually, about uh, in the afternoon, the rumors uh, started uh, spreading that uh, she was released. And then later it happened that she was not released. And then people remain in front of her house until late in the evening. And at the headquarters itself, there were thousands of people Riot police were positioned, deployed around the headquarters, but um, compared to other incidents, uh, the presence of the riot police is uh, not as uh, great as uh, you know some of the incidents uh, we have seen uh, lately. And when you say the headquarters for the NLD, the uh, National League for Democracy, is there a proper building they have there? I mean, it, it sounds uh, surprisingly open. This is a building belonged to two Burmese women, and they have allowed NLT to use as the party's headquarters. The owners, uh, the landladies, they were, they were under pressure from the authorities to stop the lease. But in fact, they determined uh, to let the party use this as the headquarters. And surprisingly enough, you know, the security would not enter into the compound of this building. They would only watch from outside of the building. In, in your conversations today with various people in Burma, Sway, uh, you've been speaking to, have you been able to piece together uh, an idea of what the scene is like?